Hi, I'm Ruth DeHoyes and I'm with Expert Village to show you how to do your wonderful bridal bouquet and a corsage for the perfect wedding. Now I'm going to show you how to do a, a bow. This is called a four-face bow. You can do a three-face bow. You can do a two-face bow just like we did the, the tuck just for the back of the corsage we did here. All it means is it has two on the sides, two little loops on the side. This one has four on each side and it just makes it look fuller and neater and you can use any size ribbon that you want. If you decide to use the thicker ribbon, you just can't make as many loops because then it overpowers the corsage. So what we're going to do is take a little loop again, then you're going to take the loop and come underneath, tuck, then you're going to go back up again underneath and you tuck. At the first time you do this, it's going to hurt because your hands are cramped and they're not used to making the bow. But as time goes on, you can just practice and keep doing it. Some people use a loop over their corsages. That was at one time we used to do that also, but now we don't. This is a three-face bow. Again, some ribbon that you use might be too thin and you can't use, uh, you can't make enough loops. If it's too thin, the ribbon you, it won't, it's not workable and you can't manage it very good with your fingers. So I would try to use something with a little bit of wire in it, not much. Again, I did three loop, I did four loops on each side, and then two tails. Got my thin wire, crossed it over, folded it, I let it go. This is easier with a little bit of wired ribbon. Then you twist it, and then you just puff up your bow, and you're done and that makes the perfect corsage. Now if your customers or your people want extra stuff, you can just add it to your corsage and make it even fuller.